this corn right here ain't sick, but I'm about to heal it anyway. Recently, we've been having a lot of new subscribers and new people to the channel, and they hear me say I'm going to heal something, heal potatoes, heal tomatoes, heal corn, and they think I'm going to make it better. I'm going to cure it like something's wrong with it. It's sick. we got to heal it. But that's not what I mean. I'm talking about heal, H-I-L-L. -L. Now, in my southern dialect, H-I-L-L -L and H-E-A-L -L sound the same. It all sounds the same in my head, heal, heal. And I guess if I was up north and I didn't have a southern accent, I might say hill and then heal, and you would know the difference. But I only know one way to talk. And so when I say heal in the garden, 99% of the time, I'm talking about throwing dirt to something. Now we heal plants in the garden for three main reasons. The first one is plant stabilization and promoting better root structure. You throw more dirt around that plant, you get the roots growing even more than they normally would. Help stabilize the plant. In the case with this corn here, it's gonna help a lot if we get some strong winds which might blow those stalks down. So if we push some dirt up around those plants, help stabilize those corn stalks. Reason number two is weed suppression. So we can take our wheel hoe and our cultivating tools and keep the weeds under control between the rows pretty easily. But among the rows or along the rows, it can be a little tougher because we don't want to damage our plants. So we have to be careful if we get in there with a hoe or tool trying to remove those weeds. So if we just throw dirt on top of them, and smother those weeds along the row there. That's a good way to do it without damaging the plant. So weed suppression, healing goes together really well. And reason number three has to do with our fertilization. So we do like to inject fertilizer through our drip system, but we also like to side dress with some granular fertilizer from time to time. For that side dressing to be effective, you really have to incorporate it into the soil or kind of cover it beside those plants. So healing is a good way to cover that fertilizer right beside those plants so the roots can access it. So right here we've got a 30 by 35 plot with 11 rows spaced three feet apart of our Avalon triple sweet corn. This is a white sweet corn and man this stuff grows quick, comes up really good, germinates really good, grows fast, super happy with how um, this stand of corn looks right now. My Hoss Garden Cedar did an awesome job. I haven't had to replant any skips or anything like that. These plants down here are about a foot tall. If we pull those leaves all the way up, they may be a little taller, but about a foot tall. And we did come in here, we planted them pretty thick, but we came in here and thinned them out to about every six inches or so. Now keep in mind, we have drip irrigation underneath this row so we planted right on top of this buried drip tape here that means we can give them all the water they need right when they need it so that's how we can we can grow our sweet corn a little closer together if irrigation and watering are an issue for you probably want to stretch these out closer to 8 to 12 inches apart but we've got plenty of water here we can give it to them really good really quick with that drip irrigation and that's why we plant it so close together so this corn here is pretty green. It's not as green as I like it to be right when it's getting ready to make ears and produce, but it's pretty green. We gave it a couple shots of 20-20-20 and micro boost of the drip system. We did that two or three times already. So it's growing pretty good, pretty fast, and we're gonna side dress it again today to give it some slow release, a little more nitrogen there. Corn is a heavy feeder. It likes plenty of nitrogen. And his dad always says, you know how you get enough nitrogen to your corn is when you burn the tips of the leaves a little bit. So we still got a long way to go before that happens. We got to keep feeding this stuff if we want a really good crop. So our preferred fertilizer for side dressing corn is this stuff right here. It says organic nitrogen on the label, but what it is is Chilean nitrate. You'll hear it also called sodium nitrate or nitrate of soda. A lot of the old timers, you'll hear them call it bulldog soda. They used to use it a lot on tobacco plants back in the day. But this is some real good stuff for fertilizing corn. It's also organic. Uh, so if you're an organic grower, you can use this stuff. It's OMRI registered. It's 15% nitrogen, which is what we need to give that corn at this point. We've already given it some phosphorus and potassium. 
with that 20, 20, 20 early on. Now we just kind of really want to focus on those nitrogen needs. Now a lot of people get caught up in how much do I use? They get really worried. They gonna put too much fertilizer or not enough fertilizer. So I'm gonna kind of break it down. Pretty simple what I use here. So this is a 10 pound bag of this and I've got a 30 by 35 plot of corn, which is approximately a thousand square feet. I may use a little more than 10 pounds, but let's just say if you've got a thousand square feet of corn, you know, the standard spacing is three foot rows, thousand square feet of corn, you want to put down 10 pounds of this side dressing. Now, if you have 500 square feet of corn, you'd put down five pounds. If you only had 300 square feet of corn, you could put down, you know, two and a half, three pounds. So just keep it simple. Say, you know, 10 pounds per thousand square feet for that first side dressing, and you should be good to go. Now, before I turn the camera on today, I came in here with my single wheel hoe and the cultivator teeth and cultivated right alongside these rows here. I had a little crust on the top of the soil there from some rain we got this weekend. So I came in here and cultivated that, and that's going to help with the uh, side dressing and the plowing process, give us some available dirt to throw up on those plants right there. So I'm going to pour some of this up in my little cup here that I use for side dressings. There we go. We ripped the zipper off, but that's all right because we're going to use all of it. All right. And when you're side dressing with this fertilizer here, you got to be a little bit careful of what you're doing. You want to put it close enough to these corn stalks here so when you come along here with your plow blade to hill it that it covers up that fertilizer. You put it too far out here, your plow blades are going to miss it. So you want to put it close enough so your plow blades can fold it in, but you don't want to get none on these plants. And you certainly don't want to mess up and get one of those fertilizer granules down into that corn plant right there because it will burn them. So we don't want to get it on the leaves. We're just going to get it right there snug up beside those stalks. So we're just going to kind of put it along there like that right there. All right, all right, all right. We got our side dressing done. Ended up using about 12 pounds sometimes it's hard you know on 11 rows to ration everything out perfectly so you get the 10 pounds over those 11 rows or thousand square feet so we end up using about 12 pounds but close enough 10 pounds would have been fine we just get it as close as we can ain't gonna hurt anything if there's a little extra there the corn can take it so now it's healing time let me go grab my high arch wheel hoe and we're gonna get that set up for healing this corn here so I got my high arch wheel hoe here and I got my plow blades in the healing position and they were set up like this on that last video we did where we were healing our tomato plants. And with this high arch, you can move these plows around. You can put them way out wide here if you want to make a real wide heel or you can put them on in closer there if you want to make a real narrow heel. With those tomatoes, I had it probably about uh, right there and right there, probably about middle of the way because those plants are a little wider. These corn plants are pretty narrow. They don't have a whole lot of, you know, spread foliage on them. So we're going to put them in pretty tight here and make a little tight heel. You can also adjust the distance between these toolbars. You can bring those in closer if you want to make it even tighter. So we're going to put them right there and we're going to tighten them down with our 9 16 wrench here. My buddy Andy Webb says he likes our equipment because it's like an old Chevrolet. You don't need but one size wrench to work on it. And while that ain't completely true because it takes a 7 16 to adjust the handles, all the attachments do change with a 9 16 wrench. So we're going to get these plows here and them carriage bolts cinched down good. Some people like to use an impact driver, but you don't have to. You can get them plenty tight enough by hand with a wrench like this. All right, they're nice and tight, and we're good to go. Now what our old high arts here is going to allow us to do is to straddle these corn plants here and throw dirt up on those plants on both sides in one pass there. We've got our drip tape here buried right underneath those corn plants. We ain't got to worry about these plows messing with our drip tape at all. It's good where it is. Now here we've got a 15 inch clearance on this guy. So we could have waited that these got a little taller, 
before we healed them but we got some rain coming in tomorrow so i wanted to go ahead and get this done you can do this with our standard double wheel hoe it has about a five inch six inch clearance so you could probably come in here right now with a regular double wheel hoe and heal these corn plants just fine with the high arch you got a little more leeway because you can let those plants get a little taller because you've got this 15 inch clearance right here Now, if that ain't pretty to you, you might want to get your eyes checked. Look at there. Nice healed up rows of corn there. That old plow set does the trick. Throws that dirt right up on them stalks there. Smothers out them weeds. Covers up our fertilizer. And that corn will start making those little brace roots. That'll grip it into the ground right there. Help stabilize it in case we do get some crazy winds around here. Now, if your corn plot ain't quite this big, big enough to you know justify using that wheel hoe there, you can still heal it and you do still need to heal it. You can do it with a rake or a hoe or whatever tool you can find to be able to pull some dirt up onto those plants. And you're still gonna wanna side dress it if you can before you do that. Since we've side dressed and healed this corn, we'll get some rain tomorrow. And I'm telling you, this stuff will pop. Once it gets going, you can stand outside and hear it growing. Now, as far as whether we'll need to fertilize it again, I just kind of keep my eye on it. I know how green my corn needs to be when it gets time to start making ears. You want it, you know, just dark, dark, hunter green kind of leaf color on that corn there. So if it don't green up quite as much as I want it to, when it gets about knee high or so, we'll do this again. We'll put some more fertilizer down there. We might not heal it up again. We might just kind of cultivate it alongside the plants there. But we'll just keep our eye on it. We want it real good, nice and green when it's time to start making those ears. I've been seeing some pretty good looking corn plots out there from viewers like you guys and members of our row by row gardening group on Facebook. A lot of you guys are ahead of me. I've seen some of you that got corn knee high already. And then some of you up north are just chomping at the bit to get your corn planted so let me know kind of where you're at in the corn growing process you know is it is it on up there and you're shooting the fertilizer to it or are you just getting ready to plant i'll put some links below to any of the products we used or talked about in this video our avalon corn seed our chilean nitrate fertilizer and our high arch wheel hoe don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button if you haven't already if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up and check out these other two videos right here. Ones we've did in the past on healing other crops. I think you'll enjoy those as well. We'll see you next time.